Hello everyone and welcome back to Dog Sled Saga and we are back in the kennels and I am so pumped to try to tackle the Liga 6 challenge once again. Oh, I'm still sort of frustrated because we totally flubbed and fell on our face and lost the Liga 6 challenge three times now. Three times now! We have had $20,000 and we have thrown it at our attempt to get into Liga 6 and three times now we have just not made it. We have fumbled. We have had the ropes tangle. We have been sliding all over the snow and I'm really 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 determined to do it this time. At first I was like eh big deal we'll just expand the kennel have more puppies we don't really need to worry about getting into those upper leagues especially because we have awesome new animals like Everpine who we could be spending quite a bit of time with. She is so pretty I have really really fallen in love with her too and I love the fact that her favorite thing is petting so I do want to try to breed her in the future. I have no idea what her specialty is so we may race her at some point too. But, um, you know, I, I really want to get in those higher leagues now. I really want to be able to reach League 7 this year. So, I mean, this real year, because normally we only play Dog Sled Saga in the winter to go along with the snow. Oh my gosh. So, that's, that's kind of what I'm thinking. We're going to try again to get into League 6 as quickly as possible. And we will try to save a little bit of extra money on the side so we can expand the kennel at some point too. So, with that in mind, today is actually actually a race day so I need to see who we're gonna be taking on the race we're gonna be leaving striker for sure cuz she's exhausted from our disaster of a previous race um and then I wonder who I should take next uh, Max is gonna come with us I need a lead dog it looks like Harmony could stay maybe let's bring Everpine and should I bring Maximus he's got pretty good fatigue and he's a lead specialty so let's try bringing Everpine and we'll race her and we'll see what she's at and then I do have Yuki as a wheel dog you know what we're gonna try with uh, Sierra and then I wonder if there's anybody else I could swap out no, Harmony's pretty tired. So see, her's going to be our most experienced dog on this run. That would actually be kind of interesting. And we're going to have Dan. <laughs> so many of you guys. I am so amused at how many of you guys know Eat Your Sushi, which is totally awesome because I think Simon and Martina are really amazing. They're like couple goals. And I daydream of the day I could travel the world and do vlogs like they do with chips. That would be really fun. But I think it's just really funny how many of you guys know him. So here we have Dan taking care of our main team for the day. All right, so all of that silliness aside, we're going to go ahead, line everybody up. I'll keep Everpine nearby. Yeah, look at this. This isn't going to be so bad. So let's try to make some money, my friends. And the more money we make, the more we can expand our kennels and the more that we are going to be able to take care of our puppies. Okay, everybody's going to get tired really quickly. Keep an eye on Everpine. She's our newest. So she's going to get tired sooner than the others. And no, the tree stole my thing. By thing, I mean dog treat. All right, there we go. Hang in there, everybody. All right. And can I get Yuki to grab this? Oh, no. She didn't grab it. Uh-oh. <laughs> All right. I need to be a little more careful with tossing treats. Everpine, are you ready for a treat? Yes. Fantastic. All right. Keeping an eye on everyone. You want to get a lot more perfects in. Did you guys even see the other team when we started, by the way? Because I don't know if I even saw the other team. And that makes me a little bit nervous. <laughs> like, are we so far? There's another team. Oh, thank goodness. No, Stry or Sierra, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to call you Striker either. You're just in Striker's normal spot. All right. Let's try to get Everpine to catch one of these. Yes. All right. The girls got those. So they're going to get some points in fame, which is very helpful. Everpine is so pretty. It's just really, really weird to see a German Shepherd as a sled dog. Not going to lie. All right, let's get these two. Come on, girls. We've got this. And Maximus. I think I have mostly female dogs on my sled team, don't I? All right, let's get these two their treats. Oop. Yay! Fame went up. All right, Everpine's really holding it. Look at that! Did you see Maximus? Give it his all right there. Go, my little St. Bernard. Go! He is just putting the, the like, paws to the ground there. Trying so hard to race super fast. Oh, 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 oh. Keep going, guys. Keep going. We're so close. 
Yes, all right. And everybody was really happy too. Oh, I'm so proud of them. We actually survived with mostly inexperienced dogs leading a whole nother dog team that we, that we normally don't have other than Sierra. Yes, and Yuki just became more famous. All right, so they have gotten us some more money and they're building rapport with one another, which is fantastic. And Everpine's fatigue capacity just went up. So she's gonna be able to race a little bit better. So proud of her. Yay, and her fame went up. Collapse all around, yay. Hashtag Everpine, yay. All right, and then let's see. Sierra's doing pretty good. I've gotta get her a little bit of rest, but we have enough days before the next race. She should be able to rest just fine. And good job, Maxibus. And actually, I had some of you guys ask if I should make the uh, sled dogs that we have in Sims 3. And I think that's an adorable idea. So we may have our dogs that we have from the Sled Dog Saga series become Sims 3 animals that we could have roaming around our world or adopted amongst some of my Sims 3 series in the future. I, I might even make them like available for adoption on my Simbler once I get that up and going. All right, so everybody's gonna rest, but I just thought that was really cute. So thank you to the people who suggested that. I think there were like two or three people who was like, you, you need to do that, who were like, you need to do that, Siri, and then like see what their puppies would look like together. That actually would be really cute now that I think about it. <laughs> all right, so enough rambling, and let's go ahead and make sure all of the dogs are rested up. We're all snuggling by the fireplace. All right, Everpine's good. I mean, she did really good for just jumping in more or less brand new to uh, a pretty intense race. All right, and we're gonna switch to training dogs. And all right, Sierra, you need more rest. And then Max, you can be trained. And then we'll swap over. All right, I need another caretaker, I think. Because uh, now we're getting to the point where we're gonna have more dogs in the future. I think, did we already put Comet? Yeah, I think we already released Comet and I need to breed more dogs, but I need to expand the kennels before we can breed more dogs. All right, so who needs more rest? Sierra needs more rest and Stryker needs more rest. My middle dogs, that's why I keep saying, no, 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 rest and rest. That's why I keep saying that I need to get more middle dogs because I don't have enough middle dogs. I have naturally talented lead and wheel dogs, a lot of lead dogs <laughs> and a lot of wheel dogs by accident. But what I really need is to get more middle dogs who can help give Stryker and Sierra a little bit of time off. Uh, so that they aren't struggling so severely um, being having to pull like the whole team all the time. All right, Striker, Sierra, are you two good again? Yay, they're good, all right. So we're gonna swap over to training for all of our dogs. So everybody in the pile of training. And then there should be, yeah, a race today. And it's gonna be clear night, medium length, and $4,200, um, which is gonna put us a little bit closer to get into the league. We're gonna need a lot more money <laughs> to get into the league. Let me see if I can find it. Uh, league office. It's going to be $18,000. So without further ado, that means we need to just start jumping into the races. And should I bring in our secondary team again? I don't know. Uh, this one seems like it'd be a little bit more challenging. So let me pull in our main team because I need Harmony and um, I need, well actually it's, it's five dogs that we use, isn't it? When it comes time. So I need Harmony to develop more of a relationship with Striker, Max, and, and uh, Domino, I think. Uh, actually, who does, who does Harmony not have a great relationship with? Because the rapport being down on Harmony is actually, hey, Harmony, I can't look at your stats. Uh, the rapport being down a little bit on Harmony is actually what made it so that she didn't do as well in the races, which was kind of interesting. So fatigue, aptitude, um, she is a natural at the wheel, but she's an able middle dog. And her rapport needs to go up with Striker. That's what we need. So let's go ahead and put Striker on the team with Harmony. And if we can get that up, it actually gives them an edge. Striker and Harmony, yep. It actually gives them an edge when it becomes time to race them. Because the better your sled dogs get along in a group, then the better they race to, uh, together. Because you can see their exhaustion rate goes down when they don't have to, when they are friends. Like snow quality makes it so it would be three plus three exhaustion. But being friends with the other dogs on our team lowers that significantly. So, all right, Meal, wheel dog over here. Harmony, you're gonna go over here. All right, everybody's good, let's go. Sorry, it's not snowy, Domino. He really does love the snow so much. And then we're just gonna win this as quickly as possible. And apparently, um, becoming 
friends, or not becoming friends, but being able to hire the rival comes once you beat him. Uh, I think someone said three times. At, oh no, not your fault. Not your fault, my dear. Uh, but it comes. Why? No. Oh my gosh. Oh, Sierra. Oh, uh, Striker. Striker has the worst fault because what happens is when her fault kicks in, she misses every treat you throw at her. Oh, that was terrible. Can we recover? Are we going to be able to recover from stumbling so early in the race? Can we make this happen? Who knows? Oh, there's fame flying everywhere at least. Or maybe it gets everybody excited. Actually, that's what Chip says when he watches uh, basketball. <laughs> I, I asked him when he was watching like this uh, Curry guy, and he's like, everyone goes on and on and on about like how talented how talented he is at basketball. But Chip said that actually it can get really boring if you know that that team's always going to win because they're that good. And so it's more exciting when you have like an underdog to root for. So now we're the underdog. We've made this race more exciting by virtue of almost failing. So failure can be exciting, I suppose. Uh, except it has to be like failure by the skin of your teeth. All right, come on. Let's toss that up to Domino. Yes, all right, Max is gonna need something. We're in third place, but will we be able to make a comeback? There is fame flashing everywhere. How many fame points can your dogs actually have? Who knows? Who knows? That treat didn't do anything. It just landed in the snow. All right, there you go, Domino. Oh, we're pulling into second place. Oh my gosh, come on guys, come on. Come on, oh no, we were way too far back. <laughs> Whoops, sorry Max, <laughs> and then I just smack him in the head with the treat. Oh well, at least we got 2,000. Um, oops, and I need to not rush through this because I want to see. I'm sorry, Harmony. At least she had her favorite thing, which was a teensy bit of fame. Yes, and that's actually what we were going for, just building rapport with Stryker. So her rapport has gone up with Stryker, even though Stryker kind of freaked Harmony out by like tripping and dodging treats. Stryker really has the most devastating fault because not being able to catch any of the treats is just, oh, that's just the worst. That's just the worst. All right, and we've got a race in three days, so we'll probably race the other dogs. Let's go ahead and rest who we were just racing. Dan, I need you to train everybody. So, nope, yep, 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 yep. All right, we're all good. There we go. See, we're getting into a good flow with this. We've kind of got it down. And then we'll go racing in a couple days and start earning some more money. <laughs> it's so hard to just get the funds where you want them to be. I want to breed a puppy right now too, because it would be fun to breed a puppy. I should probably go ahead and try breeding a puppy. Um, I sort of want to breed Everpine and Max, because Max's favorite thing is petting. But we don't know Everpines. We'll, we'll race her this time and we'll see if we can figure out what her aptitudes are, because we haven't figured out her aptitudes just yet. Uh, so I, I feel like it's gonna be lead dog, but I really just need more middle dogs. <laughs> I desperately need more middle dogs. I wanna make a bunch of middle dogs who just love being petted, and then we can all just like roll around in a big happy petting puppy pile. So that's my biggest goal. Uh, let's go ahead, rest everybody for a moment. And let's see, Striker still needs one more day of rest, but otherwise everybody else is good to go. Okay, and let's go over to racing. Who's gonna race with me? Um, I'm gonna take Everpine, and I'm going to take, uh, let's see, Wheel Specialty, Yuki. I'm gonna take a, a new mix. So we're taking Everpine, Yuki, and Maximus. Um, and then Dan is going to train up. Come along, Dan. He's gonna train up these dogs. Uh, Domino can rest, I suppose. All right, we're good. Let's do this. Uh, oh my! Maybe this is gonna be a little hard. <laughs> oh, uh, did I misjudge poor quality snow? Severe exhaustion rate. I... Uh, I wanna try it. This is probably the worst decision I probably could have ever made, but I wanna try it. All right, oh, Maximus and, and Everpine are already immediately exhausted. But we're gonna we're gonna give it a good go. All right, so just constant flow of treats, treats as though this is their lifeblood because more or less it is. Oh, there's so many treats. At least there's lots of restock stations because I think the snow quality is poor. So at least I know. Just keep tossing treats. Don't stop. Don't even don't even slow down with these treats. Oh my gosh, this is this is either going to kill us or make us champions. There's no middle ground. This is going to either make our dogs so experienced and just push them through the roof on 
being able to have their exhaustion rates taken care of, or this is going to destroy us. Oh my gosh. All right, keep going, guys. Keep going. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Come on, get up there. Oh my gosh. <gasps> okay, keep going. Keep going. Keep going. You've got this, puppies. You've got this. All right, keep going. I've never seen so many perfects. Every throw is perfect by virtue of this being ridiculously beyond challenging. All right, keep going, keep going. Oh my goodness, that's not gonna reach her. All right, up to, up to him. Just keep throwing the treats, keep throwing the treats. Don't even pause, don't even pause. Get, get that to, get that to Yuki. Maximus just kicked in. <gasps> oh my gosh, that was amazing! <gasps> we didn't even slow down. I just focused, 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 and threw treat after treat. Look at that, look at that! <gasps> oh my gosh, yes, Yuki! That was really exhausting. Oh my goodness. Please tell me that got ever pie into the next level. Yes, it got her to the next level. I knew it. We were either gonna sink or swim. There was no, no other option. No other option. Yes. Look at Maximus. Oh my gosh, he got so many perfects. His fatigue capacity is just straight up. That was really dumb to push my dogs like that, but it worked, it worked, and we had victory. Go Yuki. All right, so that's pretty exciting. That was a little bit nerve-wracking, but you know what? We made it. We made it just fine. <sighs> and we're still several thousand dollars away from being able to achieve my goal of trying to get to League 6 again. Um, and I wonder if we can send our dogs out for breeding. I'm not sure if we can because we need to expand the kennels again to be able to do that. But I do want to try breeding Everpine and Max. We still have no idea what Everpine's aptitude may be. Um, but I, I kind of, let's see if we can even breed the dogs. Can I breed Everpine? Who, natural aptitude, who knows what. Favorite thing is petting. Um, and Max, who is natural aptitude wheel, favorite thing is petting. They're not related, so you're allowed to breed them, I think. No, I need nine slots in the kennel. So yeah, they denied me. They're like, uh-uh, you've got enough dogs. Um, but you know what, maybe I should, I'm gonna expand. I'm gonna expand the kennel, that's what we're gonna do. So we're gonna go ahead and expand the kennel and do that. And I'd rather do that and then qualify for League 6 just at the moment because then we can always have a puppy breeding in the background and that makes things extremely interesting. All right, so let's just go ahead and rest our dogs really quickly because they definitely earned it. Oh my gosh, you guys did such a good job. I'm so proud of you. Okay, Striker, come with me. You can come into the snuggle pile for rest. And then we're gonna rest the dogs and we will go on this last race really quickly. But that was really amazing. So like talented last race, it really was either gonna, oh, level four sled, hmm. Make sled friction feel four degrees better. Uh, really, it's the ropes I need to wait for. So I'm gonna hold off on uh, sponsorships unless it has to do with ropes. Everpine is catching her breath. Maximus is catching his breath. Okay, and let's see it, let's grab. Uh, come on, come on, Dan, grab Domino. Keep his skills going. All right, there we go. All right, everybody, I think everybody is feeling better now. Good, all right, so we're gonna swap over to training our dogs and training our dogs. And now I'm going to swap over to my racing team. Um, and I think, I mean, that was really fun to race these guys. So we're gonna do that again now that they're feeling okay. We're gonna see what it would be like. Oh, another one. Okay, we're gonna try this out. We're just gonna try this out. We're gonna see if maybe this will let us know whatever Pine's skills are. But man, now I know how to handle dangerous races. And the answer is to just constantly throw treats. Just non-stop. Every time my dog breathes, it wants a treat. All right, and there we go, there we go. Yuki is trying to help out here. All right, come on, Everpine. Oh man, we're really pushing her to a big challenge, but she's rising to the occasion. I'm so proud of her. All right, come on, Everpine. There you go. Yuki doesn't need quite as many treats. Oh, there's just fame flying everywhere as a result too. All right. And then let's go ahead and toss this up to you. Maximus, there you go, Maximus. Yes, all right, there you go, Everpine. All right, I need to wait a little bit longer in Yuki. She actually has pretty decent exhaustion capacity right now. So she doesn't need quite as many treats. 
All right, come on. Everpine's the one who's gonna need like tons and tons of treats. Oh, did she just catch that even though it bounced off a tree? Good job, Everpine. All right, and come on, Yuki. Yuki's being a little stubborn on reaching her treats. All right, there's that. There you go, Yuki. I need to wait a little bit longer on you, Yuki. Throwing your treats to you a little too early. All right, come on, Everpine, Yuki. All right, Yuki's getting excited about something. I wonder if her fault was gonna kick in? Huh, I'm gonna have to keep an eye on her. Come on, guys, we're in first place. We're in first place again. Oh, you amazing puppers. You amazing little dogs. I'm so proud of you. What a fun winning team. They're almost like my strike team. That's what they're like. All right, Yuki was so close on her fatigue capacity. I knew I should have focused more on getting her um, on getting her perfect treats. Rapport is going up with Everpine too, which is great. It's wonderful to see them make friends within the kennel. Holy days, Everpine. <laughs> she almost went all the way up on uh, her, her exhaustion capacity again. Yeah, and they're building relationships. That's fantastic. You know, you really just have to throw yourself into something difficult sometimes. And Maximus is quite happy. I forgot what his favorite thing is. So we will actually check on uh, what... Oh, fame! Is his favorite thing fame? It must be! So he finally got some fame and it made him happy. Well, that makes me happy. All right, you guys. Our dogs are doing pretty well. We need to save up some funds. We're going to try to tackle League 6. And we are going to start breeding our dogs pretty casually again. Because it is ridiculously fun to see what the puppies will turn out as. So, I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.